What have I done wrong? Have I broken the law? Let's make it easy for now. Why am I living in the communist states of America? Newly released body cam footage shows the moment Seattle police arrested a man for allegedly harassing and threatening Representative Pramila Jayapal outside of her West Seattle home. I know that Pramila you all lives here. That's why I'm doing this. 48 year old Brett Forsell is charged with felony stalking. Witnesses say he drove past Jayapal's home three times, yelling obscenities and threatening to kill her. Court documents say he was armed with a loaded handgun, which can be seen in the video. With threats against elected officials and violent extremism on the rise, Washington's Attorney General's office authored a 31-page study with recommendations on ways to prevent domestic terrorism and hate crimes. The study requested by state lawmakers, like Representative Bill Ramos. Why now is it becoming more of a problem than it was previously? The AG study recommends a violent extremism commission, a bill to establish it currently making its way through the legislature. And if passed, would make Washington the first state in the nation to target extremism with a public health approach. People are just acting out in with violence versus talking about a problem and working towards a solution. The commission would look at solutions to combat disinformation and address early signs of radicalization. This comes as Washington state ranks fifth in the nation for the amount of white supremacy propaganda spread, according to the Anti-Defamation League. And at least 16 people from the we state charged in connection to, to the January 6 attack on the U.S. Capitol. Because once the violence happens, everybody's going to suffer the consequences. The commission would be made up of representatives from diverse groups and come back to lawmakers with recommendations in two years. There were mixed responses at the bill's first public hearing. It's currently sitting in a committee.